Is Adobe Premiere Pro worth it? That's the big question a lot of people are asking before they commit to the monthly cost or dive into the world of pro-level editing. And honestly, I get it. There are tons of video editors out there, some even free, so why spend money on this one? But here's the thing. Depending on how serious you are about creating high-quality content, Premiere Pro might actually be one of the smartest investments you can make. And make sure you stick around to the very end, because I'll show you one hidden feature almost nobody talks about that completely changes how fast you can edit. Plus, I dropped a link in the description to my full Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial for beginners, so if you're just getting started, it'll save you hours of frustration. Now, when people ask, is Adobe Premiere Pro worth it? They usually mean two things. First, is it powerful enough for serious editing? And second, is it easy enough to use without needing a film degree? The answer to both, surprisingly, is yes, but with a bit of nuance. Premiere Pro is packed with professional tools, multicam editing, color correction, audio mixing, motion graphics, advanced transitions, you name it. If you've seen it in a video, chances are Premiere can do it. But that power does come with a little bit of a learning curve. It's not overwhelming if you take it step by step, but you do have to be willing to learn. The good news is, once you get past that initial phase, it starts to feel smooth. You start building your own editing rhythm, and Premiere rewards that. You can customize your entire workspace, save keyboard shortcuts, create presets for your most used effects. It starts to feel like your own personal editing studio. That's when it clicks, and you realize it's not just about whether Adobe Premiere Pro is worth it financially. It's about how much more professional your videos look and feel when you use it right. That said, it's not perfect. One thing that can be frustrating is how Premiere sometimes acts up on certain computers, especially if you're working with large 4K files or a lower-end setup. Crashes happen. Playback might stutter. It's not fun, and yeah, it's fair to call that out. But in most cases, updating your drivers, tweaking your settings, and using proxies if needed can get you past those issues. And if you're on a decent machine, the performance is usually rock solid. Another thing to keep in mind is the price. Adobe runs on a subscription model, which turns some people off. But here's the truth. If you're using Premiere regularly, the cost actually makes sense. It's constantly updated with new features, and you get access to Adobe's whole ecosystem. You can link directly with After Effects for motion graphics, Audition for Pro Audio, Photoshop for thumbnails or overlays. It all works together seamlessly. That kind of integration can save you a ton of time, especially if you're putting out content consistently. What really pushed it over the edge for me, though, was discovering how much faster editing becomes once you understand how to set things up properly. The Essential Graphics panel alone is a game changer. You can build reusable titles, motion templates, even branded lower thirds, all inside Premiere without needing third-party tools. And once you start creating adjustment layers, nesting sequences, and using custom LUTs for your color grading, everything just looks better, more polished, more intentional, so, is Adobe Premiere Pro worth it? For casual users who just want to clip together vacation videos, maybe not. But if you're creating content for YouTube, for clients, or anything even slightly professional, then yes, it's absolutely worth it. You're not just paying for software, you're unlocking a level of control and quality that's tough to beat. And like I said earlier, if you're brand new and thinking this all sounds intimidating, check out the beginner tutorial I've linked in the description. It'll walk you through the setup, the layout, and all the basics so you're not stuck figuring it out alone. Don't sleep on this, because once you learn how to use Premiere Pro the right way, it's hard to imagine ever going back.